Wait, hold on. I'm officially turning 30. <laughs> what the Hi everyone, my name is AJ Akwako Sapon. I'm a broadcast journalist and a media personality at City FM and City TV, a voiceover artist, event MC, brands and communications person. The list goes on and on and on. And I'm really excited to welcome you to my YouTube channel. It's been a long time coming. <laughs> I've been putting this off and delaying and overthinking largely a lot uh, but i'm finally excited to have taken the plunge after a few years and finally do this and i hope you love it <laughs> i hope you enjoy and of course i will really encourage you to subscribe so please please please, please subscribe um, like comment and of course share it to a friend or family uh, spread the word around aj Safon is on youtube and i hope you enjoy it so let's rewind <laughs> I am um, started off in January of this year. So largely, while everyone was, you know, recovering from church service, getting ready to relax, I woke up just feeling myself. I went to go and get breakfast for my family and was driving out to get some cocoa and then it hit me. Like the biggest apprehension in the pit of my stomach. This is my last year in my 20s. I am officially entered my 30th year. I was petrified. So I was driving and I don't know if anyone has felt that way or does that sometimes. When you're driving and you start to think so much that you forget you're driving and then you remind yourself you're driving while you're driving then try and focus on driving. Yeah, that happens to me a lot. But uh, I, I strategize when I drive. I think when I drive. I plan when I drive. So I'm that kind of person that gets into a, a zone. Matter of fact, I think one time on a Sunday, I drove myself to work when I wasn't supposed to be at work. I was going to uh, run an errand in asylum down. But, you know, I was so in the spirit thinking that I actually fell into routine and drove straight to work. Trust me, it wasn't a funny sight. But um, yeah, so driving around, I suddenly, it suddenly occurred to me that I am turning 30. And I felt like, oh my God, I have nothing to show for it. Anyways, don't get me wrong. I am a known media personality. I've achieved success in the media space. Uh, I get freebies. Uh, I'm known for my work. People listen to my radio show. Uh, people watch TV uh, when I'm on, and hopefully people will be watching this YouTube channel. Uh, and I do get endorsement deals, and I, and I think I'm good, but there's an image of how you assume yourself to be when you turn 30. There's a several, certain level of financial freedom you think you will earn or you get into or you, you would have acquired by the time you turn 30. And I suddenly realized that my idea of how I will be when I turn 30 is very different from where I am now. I get it, I, I have done a lot, but I've spent all my 20s working. I am finally turning 30s and I started to think, have I done the best that I possibly can? Have I literally exhausted every avenue? Have I done the barest minimum to ensure that as I enter into the next decade, I'm a better version of me? I started to have all these questions and I started to literally have a panic attack. And I started asking my friends and I realized it wasn't just me who had felt that way, either turning 30 or getting to that particular stage. Because honestly, I've been working for actually about 14 years because I started working when I was 16 but that's a conversation for another day uh, and worked all throughout my 20s but I felt like I had nothing to show for it I couldn't afford half the things I want I can't drive around or fly around or buy the kind of things that I want I mean I, I, I can't afford a house matter of fact I can't even afford a mortgage like I feel like an absolute failure and I know I'm being hard on myself I, I agree but if I'm not hard on myself, who will? <laughs> but I understand that, or I feel that, compared to my other colleagues across the Sub-Saharan African region, or perhaps across the world, with their level of success, I should be able to at least be on my second home, but I can't even afford my first. And it makes me wonder, did I truly use my 20s well? Did I really, really earn or work or achieve as much as I thought I did. 
It made me wonder, <laughs> because trust me, I thought I would have a husband at 27, kids at 29. <laughs> I even got a man at 30, and that is driving me crazy. <laughs> I am single, but I'm not even sure if I'm ready to mingle, because trust me, the Accra living and the Accra men is another topic for a different day. Because honestly, you meet a guy, you like the guy. You check him out from across the room, maybe if you go to a restaurant or you meet him at an event. Then you, you know, try and, you know, flick your hair, look cute, hope that you send singles or signals his way. Then maybe he catches it. He tries to come on over and you will think that it will lead to, you know, some fake conversation, me laugh, ha 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 ha, at his maybe moderately funny jokes and <laughs> you will expect that after it will lead to calls and texts and you know you'll be checking on your baby how are you doing how's your day are you good in the evening you'll be the last person you speak to you go for lunch you go for dinners you know as you're getting to know each other but what do we see in this Accra? hey what's up you good that's all we get from the men not to mention, when it comes to the first date, you are saying, oh, you know, you can come over to my place. Huh? <laughs> yeah, it's a lot going on. But, um, and honestly, we'll talk about Accra and dating in, in a different video altogether. But I spent my 20s, in the beginning of it, blowing money fast. I started earning a lot of money when I was younger. And then I sort of blew it all away. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll talk about that as and when we continue on this journey but largely i spent most of my 20s broke and i mean really broke but happy i was passionate about what i was doing i loved doing tv so i was excited about it so even though i wasn't getting paid even a fraction of what i was worth i was happy about it, not passionate about it and fast forward a few years down the line that passion and that sort of a um, sacrifice I made during my mid, uh, my early to mid 20s started to pay off in a later point and I started earning some more in my later years. However, it is nothing compared to how I thought my 30s will be. Not to mention the fact that, you know, pop culture and social media has sort of given us an illusion of how we think our 30s should be. And you understand that in your 20s, you're allowed to make your mistakes. But when it gets into your 30s, you're now a woman. You cannot be baby girling around just anyhow. So it does leave a lot to be desired. Frankly, I've been asking myself quite a lot of questions as I finally wrap up this 29 year journey and enter into the next decade that is my 30s. I have quite a lot of questions. I mean, did I use this decade wisely? Did I use my 20s well? Did I do enough? Did I achieve enough? Could I have done better? Could I have used my time more wisely? Could I have hustled a bit more? Could I have lived in a moment? Did I live in a moment? I mean, 20s are your get out of jail free card. They are the years you're supposed to live your best life and you know, party and live it up. But did I take responsibilities on too early? Am I ready to enter my third decade? And when at all did the time go? I mean, I have quite a lot of questions, but above that, I'm also very appreciative that over the last decade, I truly have lived out my passions. I, I started off doing something that I thought was fun and ended up making a whole career out of it. And I am truly thankful that I'm able to enter into a new decade of goodness and say goodbye to a decade where I found myself. But over the next few weeks, I hope you join me on this journey as I say goodbye to my 20s and hello to my glorious 30s as I chronicle all the things that um, the last year in my final year of my 20s has taught me and of course speak to others to share their thoughts about how their entry into 30 was like for them. Turning 30 years old is a significant milestone, let's not joke. Some see it as the end of the youthful days, others see it as the beginning of a mature adult. I definitely see it as me leaving my youth and turning into a matured woman.
So join me as I chronicle this journey where I lose my youth and become a bit more of an adult. Uh, start thinking like what I'm thinking of um, investments, of asset management, when I get some uh, growing up, um, family life, figuring out dating, working, which is a huge part of my life, and um, traveling, which I love to do, and of course, enjoyment which we cannot go without and of course as i adjust and create a new reality as a woman in her 30s yikes <laughs> so join me each week right here on this channel while i travel i grow i adjust i learn i mature into the baby girl in her 30s i was meant to be i love you for watching thank you so much for joining me and please encouraging you to subscribe of course um please comment under tell me the kind of content you would love to see i'll be more than happy to create it for you um, and together join me on this version of me that i'm creating and together let's be the best versions of ourselves that we were meant to be i love you for watching love light and killer willy my name is aj stafford Mwah.